What's up guys, Mama Mike here. Whether you're single, dating, or in a serious relationship, if you're not happy with what you're getting, then it's important to look at why you put up with what you get and why you settle. I mean, if you're happy with what you're getting, then by all means, keep doing what you're doing. But if you're not, uh, you got to take a deeper look at what we call the deal breakers. So these are specific criteria that we have for what we want in a partner. And we have to really be clear about what those are. So I encourage you to make a list of what those things are. So, for example, maybe you want kids and, and uh, that's an important thing for you. And if you have a partner that doesn't want kids, that could be a deal breaker, right? Or somebody who's family oriented or, or maybe a particular religion or, uh, you know, you want them to look a certain way. It, it, there's no right or wrong, you know, way uh, to decide. It's, it's really just a matter of your preference. And so once you let go of the uh, judgment of yourself for having this uh, particular requirement, let's just say, then you just have to be clear. Look, if, if my partner doesn't have these particular things, then it's a deal breaker, right? So other things might include, uh, you know, if you're sexually compatible, if you're, uh, the other person is emotionally available, uh, maybe uh, you want to live in a particular location and, and they don't want to live in the same place, in the same country, uh, maybe they're abusive, uh, other things might include uh, ju just, you know, the social uh, compatibility. I mean, it could be anything. I mean, uh, there's like hundreds of different uh, things. But whatever that is, make your own list of what those deal breakers are. And once you do, uh, make sure you hold yourself accountable. So if, if, you, if you're dating somebody or you're meeting somebody who, who doesn't meet those particular... Uh, requirements, then it's no deal. All right, because if you're going to continue complaining about who you're getting, and and then you, you want to blame the other person, it's not the other person's fault, right? So, for example, if you don't want somebody who smokes, and and so you date somebody who smokes, and then you're complaining about the smoking, but hey, you, you knew that when you started uh, connecting with this person, right? So, be clear about what your boundaries are. Uh, it, it doesn't matter how ridiculous they sound. It, it, it's it's your choice. So once you decide what you want, set that boundary and stick to it. All right. So hope that helps.